Hey guys, and we're back. Now in case you're wondering, I did get rid of Wingo. And I also caught a Ralts. Because it's going to be a greater addition on my team. And since I got a comment from one viewer, I decided I... It made sense not to have two Pokemon with the same type on on my team. Now here's your first trainer battle other than May. And this guy just has a Poochiana. Now a good strategy to use when it comes to training Pokemon that only know Growl is to take the Pokemon out on the battle, switch out, just so you can get half the experience. Alright, now that I got those. Now that I got him taken care of, let's continue. This guy will be annoying. Cause he has like cause he has four worm pulls. No two. My memory is not doing well today. Let me skip the, let me go th faster. Not sure what this is gonna do to to my voice, but oh well. That was annoying. Now this guy will... Now this guy is awesome because he has a youngster with shorts. Truthfully, I like shorts too. Because, I mean, I'm always wearing them. In fact, I'm wearing them right now as I'm recording. Wow, critical hit. That just means that my attack is doubled. It's very rare, but it's very, very helpful. And yay! Swamper Nano's Water Gun! Ooh, Taylor. This is a Pokemon I haven't even seen yet. We haven't seen yet. Well, it soon will be. Hint, hint. Truthfully, I love Taylor too. And I just can't wait for the bio that's coming up soon because I just love Taylor. So dang awesome. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now here is Barry. Here you have berries, which you can pick. And they're good because some some berries have different effects and you can <coughs> You can give a berry to one Pokemon. And its effect will be used in the middle of the battle depending on what it is. For example, if I gave my orange berry to say Mudkip after it got down to half health it would it would eat the ornberry in the middle of the battle and then after then it heals 10 which is pretty dang good sorry I'm just not a fan of what ooh I hate shroomish for that it's absorbed, which does quad damage, meaning it does a lot. In other words, doing a lot of damage to swamp, to swamper. Oh wait, not quad yet. Its evolved form does quad damage from grass. 
Stuff on my kip is only water type, but Oh Tads. Uh Yay, we're in Petalburg. Hold up. Now the thing you want to do here, skip the mark and go straight to the gym. Now you can't battle this gym yet, but you'll see your dad. Well, if it isn't Ben, you're all finished moving in. Blah blah blah. You're with Pokemon. Maybe train like me. Then now don't worry, this guy comes in. Back to your Pokemon, please. I like Wally. Bird and turf. Never heard of that before. Now this is by far the mo I'll give you six again. Oh wow! I'll give you a Pokeball too! Go for it! Oh wow, thank you! Boring walking sequence. Pokemon hide in tall grass. Watch me if I can push. Whoa. Oh, come on. It's kept like 15 Pokemon by now. And out of nowhere, this guy gets a level 5 Ralts. Which is like a 4% chance of getting it in this area. So it just angers me. Now, this is an automatic battle. So, no, you can't kill the Ralts. Skipping this because it's so dang boring. You threw a ball now, right? Yes. You noob. And catches it on his first try at half health. Which I can do with the Ralts. Which I could do with Ralts at lower health. I did it. It's my first Pokemon. Yay. Did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Gotta go. Now this, now your dad tells you to go to Rustboro, which is where the first gym layer is. Well, I'm going there. So you can challenge your dad when you have four gym badges. But there's nothing else you can do here. Oh yeah, forgot about this guy. This is exclusive to Emerald. Excuse me, let me guess. You're a Pokemon trainer. Maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. Either a rookie trainer or some ordinary kid. Oops, did I say that loud? I'm searching for talent. I am talented! Now here we have two new Pokemon, because we have a patch of grass, so yay! Here they are. It's... First up we have Taylor, which is a personal favorite of mine. It's a normal flying type, which is incredibly fast, has an amazing ability that gives it attack boost whenever it has the status inflictions. It has some pretty good attack stat and a good move pool to go along with it. However, their its weaknesses are predominant in the game and a lot of the good moves it learns are by TMs. But still, by all means try and get this guy. I think I in fact I'm gonna personally use him on my team just to show you how good it is. And next up is a not so great Pokemon. Meryl. It gets way wetter in the fourth generation bec because its bulkiness, amazing abilities. It evolves early, which is a good thing in this game, and its good attack is better in the meta game. However, currently it has a bad move pool to match its amazing attack, and it learns all the good moves it has way too late in the game. If it had better special attack, I may recommend it, but. Sadly enough, Meryl just doesn't cut it. Plus, it's pure water type, and that, and its weaknesses are predominant. But if you want one, by all means, get it. All right, guys, I have found a good replacement for the for a uh, Wingull, and it's Taylo, a personal favorite of mine. Why? Because it's so dang powerful. In the minute game, it gets even better with the fire orb, and it has some pretty dang good moves.
Plus, it's good against most gyms. And I have one Pokeball to catch it with. Work. Yay. We got another Pokemon. And I have a good idea. Hmm, what should I name it? I have an idea. KFC. Unthink it. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and fight all the trainers off screen. So, see y'all soon. Alright guys. Beat them all. And next time, we get to go... We get to go through the main force of the game. Till then, see ya.